it's a Ross Brian, Brian the Bunny Rabbit. Oh, we're rating them now? Cool. Spaz Good Wartogma the Super VHS Advert Boy asks, Can you upload the three tweenies episodes, Bella's Big Surprise, Penguin Power, and Dirty Hands, and are you going to do more VHS starts and ends? Sorry, but I don't have any of the three tweenies episodes you've requested us, but there is a defunct tweenies website that you can find on archive.org. Just type in www.tweenyland.co.uk and find the episode guide for some information about them. It's been a year now since I've done a start and end of one of my tapes, but I will continue on doing them when I get to convert VHS to DVD. Next we have four questions from Spaz Good Wartogma the Super VHS Advert Boy. Q1. Did you see Tord in the end? The episode of Ed's World? Well I have seen it only once because of your comment, I think it's a bit weird, but still, it was okay. Q2. Do you like Tots TV? Wee wee wee. Of course I do, it was funny, and I remember it being on both CITV and CBBS. I own four videos, and I also used to own one of the books too. Mercy Buckets. Q3. I shall come back to my channel in the 2nd of April 2016. Okay, take your time. And Q4. Do you like the tweenies? Yes I do, I own 3 videos and 2 DVDs, I also own a Happy Birthday Fizz book, and tweenies on the BBC Toy Box Annual. I almost have all of the annuals, the only one that's missing is the 2002 annual, and it's rare too. Check out the enclosed instruction book. Spaz Good Wartogma the Super VHS Advert Boy asks, Can you upload any Milky Bar sponsorships from CITV? Yes I can, um, yeah, I think so. Cause I have two of them on my CITV Teletots tape which Filbert File keeps posting about, same goes to Still Game. Next we have four questions from Spaz Good Wartogma the Super VHS Advert Boy, in the whole wide world. Q1. Can you upload a full VHS of BBC Children's Favourites free with Toy Box Magazine, and Bob the Builder, Scarecrow Dizzy and other stories? Sorry. But I don't have those two. Oscar Barnett owns a copy of BBC Children's Favourites, so you could ask him to upload it in parts. And Bob the Builder? Well, I certainly can't upload that, cause this is a channel for non-third party contented stuff. Q3, what is Fizz's favourite colour and colours are magic? Her favourite colour is... Pink. Yucca Rooney. And Q4, what are your favorite kids programs? Lucky you and Eric Howell mentioned that, cause Mayday 51 is planning on making a top 50 of his favorites. Another three questions, but it's not from the same user. Obviously, they are all from our Spaz Good Wartogma boy himself. Q1. Do you like Optimus Prime of Transformers? Yes I do, he is the most number one transformer of all. Q2. Can you upload Bella's Big Surprise, Penguin Power, and Dirty Hands? Sorry, but I don't have any of those episodes, and I can only find those episodes on YouTube in another language. I hope someone has these episodes and then upload them soon. And Q3, does Todd come back in the Ed's World episode called The End? Yes he does although he then turns into a Transformer-like thingamajig to take over the world. Next up, we have 11 questions from our mate, Spaz Good Wartogma the Super VHS Advert Boy. Q1. Have you seen the Bob the Builder album promo from Scarecrow Dizzy? Yes I have, out of your channel, and Thomas Percival's. Q2. Can you upload the tweenies episode Flowers? Unfortunately I don't have that episode and it's not even on YouTube anywhere, but at least there's some information about the episode at www.tweenyland.co.uk, on archive.org. Q3, do you like BBC Toy Box? Oh yes, I personally do. I own three annuals, and a treasury book, oh and the new Toy Box video. 
I will show all the pages of the 2000 and 2001 annual shortly. I'm also getting my hands on the 2002 annual as well. Q4. What is your favorite TV channel? My favorites are, CBBS, CITV, CBBC, Nick Jr., Tiny Living, TCC, and Channel 5's Milkshake. Q5. Do you like the shiny show? Oh yes, I am one of Oscar Barnett's shiny show lovers. Q6. What is Mayday 51's favorite animal? His favorites are cats, since they're soft and cuddly, and he also likes bunny rabbits as well. He even likes me. Q7. Have you seen the Bob the Builder website promo from some of the videos? Yes I have, I have it on Buffalo Bob, Naughty Spud, Mucky Muck, and Rolly and the Rock Star. Q8. Can you upload the start and end of all the Bob the Builder videos? No I can't, since this is a channel for non-copyrighted stuff. Besides, hit entertainment programs except for Percy the Park Keeper and Sheep are blocked in Germany anyway. Q9. What is Bella's favorite color and colors are magic? Her favorite color is red. It's also my favorite color too. Q10. Did Bella break a marionette and blamed it on doodles? Yes she did. Max didn't get angry at Bella for breaking the marionette. He was sad because she told a lie. And Q11. What did the tweenies make on a big piece of paper in colors are magic? Quite easy for me. What they made on a big piece of paper was a rainbow. Next up we have 6 questions from Spazgood 2.0. Q1. What are your favorite tweenies episodes? My favorites are Woolly Jumper, Tweenie Olympics, Bella's Big Surprise, dot to dot, Max Blows a Fuse, Someone Tell Bella, Funny Bella, and Clock Shock. Q2. Do you like Bob the Builder? If so, who is your favorite character? Yes I do. My favorite characters are, Bob himself, Muck, Roly, Lofty, Spud, Trix, Benny, Packer, Scrambler, and Fantastic Flex. Q3. Do you have any tweenies videos? If so, what is your favorite? I own, Song Time, Song Time 2, and Merry Tweenie Christmas. My favorite's got to be Song Time cause it has a whole bunch of Fabaruni songs in it. Q4. Did you see the Tweenies live tour? If so, what is your favorite tour? I didn't really go to any of the tours unfortunately, but I do remember owning the first Tweenies live tour on video which I think got lost for some reason, sorry. Q5. Have you ever heard of Tweenies, Enchanted Toy Shop? Of course I have, I also remember owning that tape as well with the children's promo at the start for tweenies, Bill, and Ben, Teletubbies, the first snow of winter, yo ho hoy etc. And Q6. Do you like the hit video logo? If so, what is your favorite? Yes I do, I like both the two versions of that logo, and that logo does bring back so many memories to anyone who hasn't seen it for years, check it out. Next we have 5 questions from Zaxzilla. Q1. Have you ever seen the Bagdasarian Productions logo with Alvin and the Chipmunks holding it? Yes I have. Q2. I saw all the episodes of Arthur. Which episode did you see? I can remember seeing a few episodes on CBBC back then, but I can't remember what they were. At least I can remember one episode I've seen, which is, The Last of Mary Moo Cow. Q3. Have you ever heard the song, We're the Chipmunks, in the 1983 intro of Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yes I have. And here's a fun fact, Andy Peters was singing along to it at one point for a competition, I think, on Children's BBC back in 1991. They also did it again on Hacker's Birthday Bash, which celebrated 30 years of CBBC presentation. Q4. Did Arthur punch D.W. in the arm in the episode, Arthur's Big Hit? Yes he did. 
I believe that also became an internet meme in its own right. And Q5, did your voice sound like PC guy from Go Animate the Movie? Um, I think so. If Harry Humble's watching, I'm sorry if I mentioned anything about Go Animate. I know you don't like it. Zackzilla also asks, have you ever seen the Milky Bar sponsorship on CITV with the swings and the slides? Yes I have seen that sponsorship before, it used to sponsor all the preschool programs CITV had, like Booba for example. Next we get 5 more questions from Zach Hart. Q1, have you ever heard of Bill and Ben before? Of course I have, you should know that by now. Q2, did Kygo release the album? Cloud 9? Yes he did, and I haven't heard of it myself. Q3, what's your favorite advert of all time? I don't really know, because there are so many different adverts I've enjoyed from the old times and the new times, and I mean it. Q4, did Walt Disney create Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Of course he did, it was his first ever feature film from the 1930s. And Q5, did Mark Brown write all the Arthur books? Of course he did. Zach Hart asks, have you seen the teaser trailer for Toy Story 4? Yes I have, and boy, isn't that gonna be a great film to tune into for the year. I've always thought about Toy Story getting a fourth film for many years you know, and it was true ever since I once saw Tom Hanks on the Graham Norton show. Now Zach Zilla has four questions. One. Were Godzilla and Angiris created in the 50s? And was Mr. Sandman by the Cordettes released in 1954? I should think so. 2. Did Avicii write the song What Would I Change It To with the Luna George? Yes. 3. Did Chuck Jones create Tom and Jerry in the 60s? And what's your favorite cartoon? Yes, and I don't have a favorite, there's just so many of them. And 4. Did Simon and Garfunkel perform Scarborough Fair in 1966? And did Sixto Rodriguez perform Can't Get Away in the 70s? Yes. Now Zach Zach Zilla Hart has five more questions. 1. What's your opinion on Arthur's Perfect Christmas? It's alright, and I also remember seeing it on CBBC once. 2. Did Makoto Shinkai direct your name? I think so, even though I've never heard of it. 3. Do you like the Fox Busters? Why yes of course. Both the original book from Dick King Smith, and the TV series from Cosgrove Hall. I have the first half of series 1 on VHS, as you can see. 4. Did you know that Trix is for kids, because you're a rabbit? Yes. Ha ha, very funny, my name's not Bugs Bunny. And 5. Did Sam Smith perform writings on the wall for the James Bond film Spectre? Yes he did, and I also remember him performing that same song in an episode of the Graham Norton show back in 2015. Now we have 5 questions from Zigzilla. Did Duck Sauce perform Barbara Streisand? Yes. Did Rick Mail and Adrian Edmonds appear in Bottom? Yes. What's your opinion on Godzilla Land and Arthur? We think they're good. Did Clean Bandit and Ellie Goulding perform Mama? Yes. And did Kengs and Jasmine Thompson perform Candy? Yes. First things first, Zackzilla has five questions. Do I know about Monty Python? Why of course we all have, it was one of the best comedies from the BBC. We even did a parody of that infamous parrot sketch on Bright Lunch you know. Have you heard of the Cramp Twins? Yes I have. It was alright in my opinion. What's your opinion on Faulty Towers? Another great comedy from the BBC at its greatest. I wonder if we could do a take on something from that show as well, maybe. Your opinion on Rugrats and Timon and Pumbaa? They're both great cartoon shows from years gone by. I have several VHS releases of Rugrats, and I did used to have that rare 2004 e release of Around the World with Timon and Pumbaa until the tape snapped and was stuck inside. Nowadays I own the original 90s release. Did Hack and Toho and PBS make Godzilla Land and Arthur respectively? Oh, not this again. Well, the first two networks did Godzilla Land, and PBS have commissioned Arthur. Enough said. There's five more questions now from Zach. 
Have you ever seen Wallace and Gromit say grand day out? Yes I have, many times, a brilliant short film and the first featuring the famous plasticine bear. Have you heard about You Are Yuma Sao, and an American tale 3 The Mystery of the Night Monster? I haven't heard about the first film you mentioned there, but I know about the other one. Did LSD perform the songs Angels in Your Eyes, Audio, Mountains, and Heaven Can Wait? Yes they did. Do you think DW was determined to watch Mr. Who's It from the Arthur episode DW and Mr. Who's It? Yes. And have you seen any Godzilla Land merchandise because it's Godzilla's 65th birthday? Yes I have, thanks to you. And happy belated birthday to Godzilla too. Now Zach has his next four questions. Have you heard of Nagagatsu Sanjushi, and the sword in the stone? I've seen that Disney film, but not the Japanese film at all. Have you seen the intros for Get Going Godzilla Land, and Arthur? Only the intro from Arthur. Have you seen the Disney videos Stay Tuned Slide? Yes I have, on many Disney videos. And what's your opinion on Arthur's It's Only Rock and Roll? Quite good, I must say. Now there are five questions from Zaxilla. Have you seen the trailers for Spongebob Sponge on the Run, Scoob, and Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes I have, although I don't really care about the Sonic film much, but I believe Scoob might be good though. I'd agree with that too. Did Ed get his superpowers in the Ed's World episode Power Ed? Yes I believe so, although I've never seen it. Your opinion on the Godzilla Land LSD and Arthur characters? I'm only ever interested in the ones from Arthur thank you very much. Did Labyrinth and Sia collaborate in the song Oblivion? Yes. And did Arthur and Buster argue in the episode The Feud? Yes they did. Duh. Five questions now from our friend Zaxilla. Have you heard of Arthur, LSD, and Godzilla Land before? Sort of Zack. Sort of. What's your opinion on the live-action Lion King remake and Makoto Shinkai's weathering with you? Never seen any of them I'm afraid, so I don't know. Have you heard of the Cramp Twins, and Hey It's Guzura before? I've only heard of the Cramp Twins, thank you very much. Have you ever seen The King's Beard on CITV? No, I haven't. And have you heard of the Rare Be Safe with the Tweeny series? Yes I have, and you can see all of that on Internet Archive just now, thanks to Milo Jennings.